Alright, I'm done selling most of my stuff. I have, uh, I don't know how much gear I have, but... Um, I did see one piece of armor that was kind of similar to what I have, you know, and I figured that maybe I'll just give, um, Liara the light armor here. But there's one problem with it. Yeah. So we're not using that. Fuck that shit. Liara can have the other piece of shit armor. I refuse. I refuse to wear that fucking skin of armor. It fucking annoys me. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you should just suck it up and do it. Uh, we'll decide. Anyways, we got one more get that post to do, and this has taken so fucking long to do, but... Yeah. It's actually so monotonous, it's, it's not even joking. I'm not even joking. I mean, as I said, I'm committing to at least do fucking all this stuff in my journal, and then I'm, I'm, I'm gearing- I'm probably just gonna fucking leave, by the way. I mean... I think- I think... Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna- we're just gonna fucking go on to... Elios and, and be done with it. Because, I mean, we're done with the main story stuff. It's actually shorter than I would have thought it would have been, actually. Oh, yay. Okay, well, here it is, then. Because it's the same deal, like, twice. It's been, like, uh... Like, the, just the one outpost surrounded by a bunch of geth. I mean, one I had to destroy a geth dropship, I guess. Still isn't it quite what I hoped it would be. Alright, let's see what we got here. Geth outpost. Okay, we'll go down this way first. I mean, particularly when the planets are just, like, really fucking craggy for no reason. It's like, it's like I'm in the, like, fuck the mountains or something. Alright, here's your, here's your, uh, here's your reaper shit. Just in the pile of nowhere. Like, I decrypt him every time. I don't know why. Sorry. Fuck. I, my god, can you imagine how long this would have been if I had actually not been speeding it up? I think during my original run, I just never- I never did all of this. I just kind of said, I, I'm like, oh, we got Helios, let's go do it. Especially because this is like the, the, the day of the ten minute parts. You have to understand. What the fuck? Okay. For some reason it wasn't highlighting up there. Alright, strange looking sensor with some ancient graffiti scribble on it. Seems to be marked with the Edison colony insignia. Okay. It's more of this fucking insignia shit, which we don't actually give a rat's ass about, to be fair. Old Skull. Massive Skull is, uh, is scored by deflected mass accelerator shots. And xenobiology files on your heart so your computer can't identify the species. It must have been brought here from an unknown world. Uh, so they did some, like, hunting or something, I guess. Uh, yeah, I surveyed that already. We're almost there. We okay. All right, another probe. I like how they keep like their grenade upgrades and stuff, which I already, by the way, I, I did upgrade that. Uh, yeah. See, I have. I already have that one. I like the high explosive one. All right. No. I like. I think. I think deep. Deep down inside, like psychologically, I do want to go back to Normandy. I want to go to Elios, guys. So, oh, we got some, we got some fucking rocks here to look at. Fuck, let me through. Oh wait, we we literally just drove over it. Berlium, all right. I'm from Brum, motherfucker. We just give it a good. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you know what? You, you guys want to play fucking Mass Effect on hardcore mode? All right, here's what here's what you do. You 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 get out of the maker every time you're in it. You walk, fucker. All right, I don't like all these these red blips I'm seeing on my map. Yeah, whatever. No one gives a fuck. Magnesium. We're gonna do this, and I'm gonna tell you, and we're gonna see at the end how much I missed. I mean, do we have to kill all these turrets? I mean, probably should. The 
fuck? Okay, there's like one more over here somewhere. Where is it? It's all the way up there. It's probably all the way up there. Now right, we gotta do like a three point turn. Here we go. Dude, Ma Mako School must be like so much fun. Because like these things literally are like made out of nerf. So imagine what like the, the practice Makos are made out of. Oh, do we actually leveled up from killing turrets? Whoops. Sorry. I backed up slightly. We, get, we actually got a level up. Still no intimidate. Hopefully we won't need that. But I don't think we actually do need that by the end. Uh, I think someone was trying to tell me I don't need to. Uh, they now work on more advanced robotic enemies. Okay, that's kind of nice. Doing more warp, I guess, for both of these. Whoops, no. Undo that. With you, we're doing shotguns. Oh god, there's a fucking... Did I, did I already survey this? Yeah, I did survey this. I couldn't mind. I, I saw it there and I, I was filled with dread for just a second. Oh no, my radar's jammed. Kind of sad that we don't really get the opportunity ever to, uh... What the fuck, honestly? What the fuck? What are, what are Geth Colossus coming here all of a sudden for? Oh shit, he's like following me around. Alright. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Yeah, you suck. Sorry, it started to shoot at me and I was trying to speed it up. Yeah, it, you can see me actually taking damage when I speed it up. But I'm, I'm so tired of these things, I'm just trying to fucking, I don't even want to fight it. But... Why is the Mako at the back of there? <laughs> this receiver appears to be picking up some kind of transmission. Based on the signal strength, I would say it's coming from inside this star cluster. The main Geth base. Use the signal to lock onto its location and go take it out. Oh my god. The game assumed I the had fun with us. Use the signal to lock what? onto its location and go take it out. Yeah, I, I think this is... Guys, I think this is a bit rougher on the edges, I'm not gonna lie. Uh... Use the signal to lock onto it, the fuck? In the grossing system of the Ar Armstrong sector. This is fucking weird, man. Okay, just when you thought we were done, you fucking can't leave. Okay, so we have to go to the Grossium sector. Fucking Grossium. What kind of star system has three planets on it? To scanning planet Pringles, uh, you have to discard uh, several marker bu buoys orbiting it. Adam secured some high-res optical images of the buoys. Which appear, appears to have neglected, been neglected for some time. Each one was marked with the spectic of uh, something colonies or insignia. Alright. Hong thing. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, there's another one. The main Geth base. I keep. I, it keeps dragging me back in. League of One Medallion. Okay, we get the planet zigzags. All right, it's brilliant on this on this one. Holy shit! There's uh, the mine of no Notaban and its uh, small moon of scrotum. All right, 
Oh, dude, they're on they're on planet Scrotum. Level one heat hazard. All right. All right, come guys. Let us show these guests the meaning of Scrotum. We bring the, the we bring the Mako with us. It's fine. No way we'll lose. <laughs> Just immediately. Would you like to return to the Mako? What is this? Okay, that's the objective. I'm guessing. Let's go to the anomalies first. I don't. I don't. Really, really, can we not negotiate peace with the with the fucking the, the Geth? They are robots. They will see logic and reason. I have no faith in that. Especially because I have killed many of their robot brothers and sisters. You know, taken out a Geth Colossi like three times. At this point, they should know. They should know I have the power of fast forwarding things. As sorry, capsule. Recover. Alright. Matrix writing is discovered. Why does she have her fucking writings everywhere? Like, the fuck? Like, why does she, like, feel the need to, like, clan tag every fucking planet she goes to? Like, I guess I'd do that too, but seriously. Clan tag it with my sniper. Okay, just go down this thing. Alright. Let's go. We're almost there. You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Yeah, shut up, Joker. All right. Energized plating and okay. What's what's energized plating? Ah, uh, just damage reduction. That's fine. We don't need that. I thought that was, I thought it was the shields, because they maybe would have taken that then. Alright, let's go. Right, let's go find the main Geth base. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, can we not turn around in the opposite direction? I see, I, no, I don't see minerals there, I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's a distortion on the, the screen. Not turning around for that, sorry. I kinda got bored of it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. See, I, I, I float down slowly, so... Yeah, that's one. We'll get him soon, don't worry. This is so janky. Okay, we got it. Why do they have Metagel? I, I, I've asked this question many times. This is their main base, guys. The main guest base. Alright. That was the last one, guys. Now we get to actually try out, it's a fucking two episodes of the making, but we finally get to try out our stupid ass fucking... Oh look, this looks like, uh... Something new. Alright, let's try our explosive sniper rifle. Alright, it's overheated. Let's wait for it to not, not, not overheat anymore. There we go. Good, good shooting. Okay, this thing kind of sucks, I won't lie. But it, it, it still one-hits everything. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> we're, we're done with this upgrade. Uh, it's just uh, snow blind. Oh, wait. Target, 20 damage. And negative 40 rate of fire. Uh, how about no? Oh, no to all of this. I'll just do the one where you do more damage to the fucking synthetics. Do I have a better one than that? I probably do. Yeah, we have 40%. See, that 2% probably would make a difference. And we got like fucking two scram rails in this thing. Oh, because I want, I want like fucking ham. That's what I did. Here we got him. Wow, what is the heat generation? It's actually not that bad.
But I feel like Rite of Fire would be a bad idea to compromise on. What the hell happened here? Okay, Rex is now one with the box. Alright, see you later guys. Oh, it's a, uh, it's like a piece of box. And which I can now take cover on. Now we're gonna have fun with this for a bit. You guys, uh... Okay, fine. Can I hack one of these things? Oh, I can. I can hack Geth Destroyers now. That's a Geth Juggernaut. Alright, the one shot that saved the universe. There you go. Siren's dead. This is the... As the last gas falls, you hear music from across the room. In a monitor, a quarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling in a mournful capella of wor worlds and innocence lost. The recorded song is being dispatched to the Geth worlds behind the Perseus Bale. The transmission shuts down. What in the fuck is this shit? I feel like I need to ask uh, Tally about all of this. Discovered a number of encrypted get data files in the proper hands that could reveal much about the evolution of the guests since the banishment of the Quarians. Okay, definitely talking about uh, talking to her about it now. Okay, we got we got more snowblind. Frictionless materials. Uh snowblind rounds. Well there you go. But it's gonna be like you don't it's gonna be basically like the the slowest shooting you've ever seen if I if I equip that now. Uh, heavy armor human. You know, what happens if you don't have, um, what's his face? What if, what if you Vermeer, uh, like Ashley instead? Do you still get heavy armor? It, even, even if you don't play class, I would never use it. That's what I find kind of odd. You know, because, like, I, I don't, there's nobody else that uses heavy armor. If, if you don't play a class that uses it. I mean, I guess this thing you can sell, but, it's like, it's a, does it remove from the pool? Maybe, maybe I shouldn't close the door. All right. Well, that was interesting questions. All right, let's go talk to her about it. All right, let's go down. Yeah, we're gonna go down. Where is good old thing? All right, this took literally forever to do, by the way. Fucking hell. The mission itself to go to these fucking planets. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Make it quick. You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. It'll take years to decipher and analyze the data. Maybe even decades, but it's worth the time. This information will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I'll be counting on you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I got par I got a single Paragon point for that. Alright. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. What did he want you to do? He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend 
turned out to be an Asari commando. Were you afraid of her? What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. Huh. She always was a bit of a softy. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. That's a good story. I like that kind of shit. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I should get back to my uh, skipper. Rifles defense, Okay, sir. so literally nothing else to do with her. Commander, I... What Something I bothering do? you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find you. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can. And if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him? Bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act. You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him, permanently. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. 
You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, sir. Good talk. Good talk. Alright, and then... I think... I think I think those two are the ones that just, like, uh, have actual stories and shit to say, and I think these two... The love interest or whatever just don't say anything. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted yeah, to talk. Yeah, it's just a... Of course, Chef. What did you want to talk Goodbye, about? Sir. Yeah, that's it. Fuck. Let me through. I want to talk to... It's Trump strange. Us. Being a few... This crew... Yeah, that's all she says now. <laughs> Fucking... We're, we're fugitives. What does Joker have to say? Actually, ne never get a press later. I can't believe we stole the North. Good, good talk. I'll be okay, Commander. Alright, I guess we're out. Uh, no more Geth ever. Bye.